What's going on everybody? Welcome back to T-Miles World. And today we're going to be talking about offensive scheme chemistry, specifically the play fake versus the go deep. Uh, some of you guys have been asking, like, you know, g Maya, or you've been, you know, explaining to me why you think play fake is like that real deal, right, over the go deep uh, chem. As you can see, I chose go deep. I'm going to explain to you guys why. Um, not only is it cheaper with the amount of components, which are players, for those of you guys that are new to Madden Ultimate Team, when you see uh, the writing, in, writing inside of the actual scheme chems where it says the components needed, um, over here it'll say players in certain areas it'll say components components are just the amount of players or the items that go into it just so you know some of you guys were asking that question uh the, the the wording may be different but they mean players so anywhere where you see it like that you have to have a certain number of players to be able to uh get these things active so you're going to go ahead and see that with 40 out of the 50 you're going to get four throw power four pass block four beat press four deep route running plus three catch, plus three spec catch, plus four deep accuracy, plus three uh, break sack, plus three throw under pressure. Now, a lot of you guys are probably gonna say, Jemiah, what, which one of those are the most important? Well, the 96 throw power in Dan Marino is actually game changing. I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly what that means. Pretty much what happens is this, right? Let me go ahead and bring up the bigger screen so that way you know I can further explain thoroughly what's going on. I'm gonna show you how much play fake needs, how much play fake you need to get that plus four, uh, throw power and what else play fake does in a second But we're gonna start off with the fact that you can see the attribute upgrades uh, for dirty Dan right here now look understand the way that this works, right? I did have um, Derek Carr recently and I showed you guys like pretty much I'm gonna pick and choose the field general and I would love for uh, Derek Carr to be that guy that moves around right and zips the ball the right way He just wasn't but I had to give him a chance and see what he's about and explain to you guys You're gonna see the same exact abilities with conductor and hot route master But now we have dirty Dan and it's a whole different level now Let me explain to you something about the thresholds right when you go to like the it's like 85 90 95 thresholds it pretty much goes by fives uh, when you start to dissect the game into where the throw power aspect goes. So right now, he's pretty much at his final tier. 96 throw power is going to be similar to 95 to 99. That's just the way Madden is. Uh, it's broken down that way. We don't know why. We just know it works like that. It's within that threshold, right? So I noticed immediately that he throws the ball a lot further when I just had him sitting at 93. All right, I think I had him at 93 before prior to this, right? So, and that time I had balanced offense, which boosts the entire team. You're gonna lose boost to like your linemen and stuff like that, but it doesn't matter. You gotta focus on the skill positions. So he's at a 96 throw power, uh, 92, th 92 uh, deep accuracy. He's gonna more than likely not make a bad throw on a deep throw, all right? Medium accuracy still in the 80s, whatever like that. Uh, short accuracy 89, he's still at that lower lower level threshold. I would love to get it a little bit higher, but I'm not worried about that because I typically throw the ball deep, right? So he's a 96 throw power with 40 of um, the go deep. Now let's take a look at what play fake does. Play fake, uh, some of you guys were explaining, you know, like the medium route and that, you know, running play action draws the zones down. I understand all that, but when you go through it, where it said, you see the components, how it's listed right there, that just means players. For some of my new players that have been playing and coming to the channel and joining G Maya's world, components just means players. EA could easily write players, but I guess for them, the component situation is easier because maybe you're going to be able to upgrade uh, your uniforms at some point and that wouldn't be a player. So probably a component, whatever. I don't know, but that's what that means. Just the items that go into it that you can add to it, right? So look, when you go down through the list, Okay, one throw power is at 10, you got another throw power at 20, you got another throw power at 30, nothing at 40. No throw power at 40, then 45, right? So you would have to actually have more to use play fake to be able to do that. But in turn, I can understand the catch rating is going to increase, your pass block, uh, throw on the run, short route running, all that stuff is going to increase. I can understand why you guys would argue utilizing the play fake. And also you guys could argue that 95 is the threshold, so it's not that big of a deal, um, you know, when you go with 96. But, you know, with the way that I think and the way that my brain works, right, EA Sports has no idea in certain situations what's going on. So I don't know if I if I take away that one from Dan Marino if he would throw the ball the same way, even though the threshold is where it is. It's a very unique situation that doesn't make much sense but it is something that you guys should know. You have to actually test every single threshold. And that's what I do for you guys. 
I, I te when I'm telling you this, I've already played games with this that you can find on GMI's World Gaming right here at YouTube, and you can see the gameplay, and you can see the difference in the throw. Now, I could easily take off, uh, go deep, and go to play fake. And then pretty much with the, with the medium route running, the pass block, you know, the play action, all this stuff like that, would it really influence the entire team the same way? Maybe you guys think the catch rating matters. They're going to drop the ball no matter what. So when people tell me like, oh, you know, it increases your catch, that's a joke to me. Because I know that everybody drops wide open passes and it has nothing to do with anything like that. And these boosts won't matter. Just remember, guys, it's specific boosts that matter in the game. When you use Sprinter, you see the difference in speed. Uh, speed. You see the difference in acceleration. When you upgrade this throw power, you see the difference in the throw power. I don't have any time to tell you guys about imaginary things that might work because EA is out here doing whatever they want. I need to make this as painless as possible for my viewers that are watching the content. So I can't make up stories. I know that this works. The play fake, it looks good and all the stuff that they're doing and you get catch and pass block i don't care about that because that doesn't help anything that we're trying to do we need better throw power for our qbs why a lot of you guys are running around with dk metcalf right you need to get the ball down the field how do you do that you got to have the throw power to do it many of you guys want to go to brett Favre. you're boasting about he has a 97 throw power uh, a 97 throw power well guess what now dirty dan has a 96. so how much more um, do you want that gunslinger over the fact that you have Hot Route Master and you can change all your routes and do whatever you want and play like an absolute weenie from Weenie Hut Juniors? No SpongeBob, though. You got this is the thing, right? We all have to figure out what exactly we want to do in the game. That's what our job is, right? I'm making it as easy as possible for you to understand how to do a lot of this stuff. Because look, with Go Deep, there is no more throw power after this. So realistically, Break sack, throw under pressure, all that stuff, catch. It's all garbage. Like, nobody cares about that. No, but listen, dude, those additional ones don't really matter as much. Now, will it boost your players and make them, you know, look ridiculous? Yeah, it probably would, you know, but is it necessary? Probably not, guys. So we get exactly what we want out of it because that throw power now makes Dan a completely different animal. Remember this, right? When you need that little bit more throw power, when he's running right across the middle, like you have a guy on a deep crosser, and you gotta get the ball there. And like, you know, Derek Carr couldn't get the ball down the field. That was another thing with him. When you do this with Dan Marino, I've already played several games with him. A lot of you guys saw it uh, during the live uh, live Twitch stream when we raid sold uh, Derek Carr live on stream. You guys saw it. Dan Marino gets the ball down the field. So now it's a different type of situation because when they run two men under and you put out a man beater type of, you know, come out in trips, whatever you guys do, and you have the crosses and stuff like that, you can lead past the ball super far now. Because 96, you're talking Josh Allen, almost, um, you know, Josh Allen, you're talking uh, Brett Favre type throw power, you know, Patrick Mahomes, all these things, uh, Matthew Stafford, but you're getting it with a field general, which is like game changing. You see what I'm saying? So now you change the game because if you get that little bit of time, you can alternate all your routes and now you got a quarterback that's very close to 99, which I said, it doesn't, 99 throw power is not going to feel different than 96. I can guarantee you that. Because like I said, when you dissect it, 95 to 99, it, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, that threshold, everybody knows about thresholds with the fives. Um, it's been researched, it's been dissected. It's a fact. So he's going to throw that ball the same way as a 99 throw power QB. But he has Hot Route Master right now. Later on, like I told you guys, when we unlock it with other quarterbacks that are faster and we can still get Hot Route Master, that's game changing. But that's going to be coming later down the line. I just wanted to explain to you guys, you know, the differences between the play fake and the go deep. Realistically, you're going to pay less to get 40 components instead of 45 for the same throw power. So why would we spend more? Doesn't make any sense. We might as well do what works for us. And that's what I believe that we should all start to do because it just makes more sense to do that. Everything, anything else that we're doing, it just doesn't make any sense logically. So that's what I would leave you guys with. I would encourage you to, you know, to try out the difference in the throw power with the field general quarterback, getting him up to over 95. Even if you try play fake and you try the 95 and you see the difference, that's fine. I just believe that go deep with the beat press and all that other weird stuff, it helps the wide receivers a little bit more. It helps the tight ends. It increases their um, 
you know, th their deep route running, which like Vernon Davis, you guys have seen him play and all of you guys are very impressed with him. Now he even runs by people faster because his deep route running is like a 92 or something boosted uh, with the go deep. So that's ridiculous for him. An another thing you guys want to take a look at, I believe that, um, I believe that uh, Jermichael Finley also uh, has a pretty good um, deep route. Okay, they don't, they don't show it with this. So what did they update? I don't know what they updated. It looks like they just, like, are they even doing anything in the office? Like, what do they do? Dude, they do not need, to, why did they change something that was working fine so we could see all of our things when we're doing it? I guess they just want us to be able to do it like this and then compare it this way so that we can see it like this. But it, this is kind of weird, bro. All right, so we'll go to Jermichael Finley over here and then we'll take a look at their, um, their ratings uh, when compared to each other when, you know, actually you know the deep route run so he's at an 87 i think they add like three or four i think he gets like a 90 so let's go to his card and take a look at it i have him as a um as a specialist so i can sneak him into the game so we got to go here to take a look at that and then uh what we'll do is let's go ahead and uh check it out real quick as far as a deep route run on him i think he made it to like a 90 if i'm not mistaken yeah 91 so these guys can actually go ahead and they can run right by players now so that's a very, very impressive uh, situation to where, why, why, why is it not, what, what, is, what is this thing doing? Why isn't it showing it both at the same, dude, why, why is one off and one, okay, whatever EA is doing, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Doesn't really matter. I'm trying to compare both of them at the same time. EA is doing whatever they want. That's fine. But I just wanted to give you guys the insight into the, you know, the deep route running absolutely 100% influences how they beat their, you know, beat off the press and how they run down the field. So. Having a you know 92, 91 guy, pretty good uh, for your passing schemes and things like that. So go ahead and make the choice. I would prefer a field general with that type of throw power because it's, it's pretty much you're pretty much like cheating right now, having hot route master and 96 throw power. Hopefully this has been informative to you. If it is, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch, all at Gmiles World, and go ahead and have a great day. Until next time, one love, y'all.